Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said last week that he expects to see some banks fail due to their exposure to the commercial real estate sector, which has declined significantly in value following the shift to remote work. Maybe that's you. Wait, but did, didn't I say this just a couple weeks back? Yeah, I, I did. I said this in many videos. I, I know I did. You can go back and watch them. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I continue to believe that regional banks are a house of cards. I, I really do. I've been saying this all the time. But also that the banks are in trouble with falling office space and retail assets. And they're not the big banks, which were designed as systematically important in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. Now that episode, which resulted in a taxpayer bailout of the financial sector, was also triggered by unsound real estate assets. Do you guys remember that? Rather, the banks at risk of failure now, Powell identified as smaller and medium sized. So here's a direct quote from Powell. This is a problem that we're working on for years or more, I'm sure. There will be bank failures. It's not a first order issue for any of the very large banks. It's more smaller and medium sized banks that have these issues. We're working with that. We're getting through it. I think it's manageable. Think is key word there. End quote. Powerful. Jerome Powell saying this. He doesn't, he never says stuff like this. Now he didn't go into detail about the specific regulatory actions regarding commercial real estate exposure that are now being undertaken by the Fed, which is both the federal currency issuer and one of the primary bank supervising agencies, though he did go on to say that he had identified the banks most at risk. Now to quote him one more time here, and I'll probably quote him again after that, so I shouldn't have said one more. We are in dialogue with that. Do you have your arms around this problem? He's asking. Do you have enough capital? Do you have enough liquidity? Do you have a plan? All good questions. Then he goes on to say, you're going to take losses here, but are you being truthful with yourself and with your owners? So they're trying to nip this in the butt. Now, commercial real estate investments, the trust known as REITs, R-E-I-T-S, have taken a hit over the past few months. Just look up some of the bigger REITs out there. Alexandria Real Estate Equities, Boston Properties, Kilroy Realty Corp, and Vornado Realty Trust are all in negative territory since the beginning of 2024. Powell described the decline in value of commercial real estate as a result of remote work following the economic shutdowns of the pandemic as a secular change in the economy. Now, in many cities, and I quote him, the downtown office district is very underpopulated. I can point out to my hometown of Minneapolis, and it, it is just that. There are empty buildings in many major and minor cities. It also means that the retail that was there to serve those thousands of people who work in those buildings are also under pressure. You might have seen this in your local downtown. This, this happens. It's a catastrophic effect. It just dominoes. Now, while the decline of commercial real estate values could put some banks out of business, Powell expressed confidence that the Fed and financial regulators would be able to contain the fallout and prevent a broader crisis. 34 U.S. banks have failed since 2015, according to the Federal Deposit Insurance Corp, the FDIC as we know them, which insures deposits at regulated banks. The Fed and Treasury Department also jumped into action last year to bail out Silicon Valley Bank, remember that, and Signature Bank, I do remember that, and extend lifelines to other troubled banks as they threaten broader confidence in our overall banking system. This is why I'm only using big banks going forward. All my money is at Wells Fargo, and I'm staying within the insured amount of money, the $250,000 presently. When I get more, it'll be in other banks. The rest of my money is in gold, silver, and Bitcoin. Gold and Bitcoin are thriving right now because savvy investors are moving capital here, even with the S&P at all-time highs, and a narrative that the economy is doing well. I don't believe that narrative. I'm totally against it. I've heard that Many times, that narrative is false. Watch my last videos. I've doubled down on this. We've got record high credit card debt, a few wars, even an election coming up. It's people who make moves to non-traditional asset classes now that will come out ahead when this cycle gets going. It will. It's just a matter of time. Don't wait too long and start diversifying your portfolio and you will reap the rewards. Or as Robert Kiyosaki says, if you wait, you're going to go down with the ship of fools. I'm diversified. I'm ready. There will likely be a huge shift in wealth that we've never seen before, maybe in 2008, to those who insure even 5% of their portfolios, both cash and retirement I'm speaking of too. And I'll continue to cover this as I'm ready to announce that a bank failure is happening. I've been saying this in many, many past videos. Bank failures are on the horizon. I'm not the only one saying it. Jerome Powell just said it, for God's sake. Who do you want to believe? The narrative, the S&P, the media, or do you want to get into the plumbing of the overall system like I do, like Greg does, like we cover on Tag Economy, please? Follow us, subscribe. We've got a newsletter. We send out one newsletter a month. That is it. We cover this from business owners' lens who dig into the economy, look into the plumbing, balance sheets, read reports. So Greg and I pay thousands of dollars for subscriptions to Barron's, Wall Street Journal's undercover newsletters that you might not subscribe to. We regurgitate all of this on the channel to keep you educated 
We like doing it. We're small business owners with families we're trying to protect. Again, there's a link below if you're interested in precious metals. I told you I'm there. Gold, silver, I bought in over a year ago. Gold IRA I have. I've got physical precious metals at home. Greg has a pile. He's a stacker. He's got tons of gold and silver at his house. Well, I'm not doxing him. I'm not saying they're at his house, but he's got them in storage. He has physical delivery and he does whatever he wants with them. Bitcoin's obviously raging right now. Now, if you look back at past videos, I announced that Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, and Jamie Dimon have taken out billions of dollars of their own companies. Yes, to be fair, some of that was strategic draws on capital because their stock prices were at highs and that was planned, but they're not reinvesting it back in their own company. Where are they putting it? Are they going non-traditional? Are they preparing for this like I am, like you should be, like Greg is? That's the remain to be seen. We got into gold around $1,800. Very transparent again. You can go back and watch it. You don't have to, but take my word for it. We're honest, guys. We're not here to sell you anything. This is something to stabilize the portfolio as we head into what could be a 2008 style meltdown. Now, we're not just saying this for educational purposes. We are trying to protect the economy because if you guys all go down, Greg and I are protected. It's going to create a big gap in wealth. We've talked about that many times on this channel as well. Please subscribe. Stay tuned. I will keep you posted. And I am telling you, I've said in the last three videos I've done, there will be a bank failure that I talk about. It's coming up. It's on the horizon. Don't forget that. Diversify some of your money or don't and go down the ship of fools.